Your Excellency, Madam Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, my friend. Cabinet Secretary Amina Muhammad, Head of Public Service Joseph, all other protocols observed. It is my great honor to be here with you today for the inauguration of the Public Service Emerging Leaders Fellowship. I observe the impossible task of an ambitious government managing an infinite list of priorities and challenges. I also saw a young generation living in a time of newly restored peace, anxious to be a part of building their nation. The solution seems so simple. Create an open, attractive, and meritocratic pathway for Liberians' top graduates to join the civil service, and then give them the skills, the support, and guidance they needed for a meaningful career. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to Madam President, who embraced my idea to launch the President's Young Professionals Program, which endures to this day. Just as an important, at a time when we needed it most, immediately following the Ebola crisis, Madam, you chose to invest from your own small budget to ensure the program's success. Today, it is a nonpartisan institution that goes on. It was not my original vision to create a pan-African effort to strengthen civil service. Indeed, my assumption was that programs like this already existed, and that the one we started in Liberia would link and network with those. But as we all know, investments in people and the institutions of public service, especially in Africa, have been neglected. So we have built emerging public leaders to help spur other efforts which we hope will recognize the importance of the infrastructure of government, just as much as the policies and the programs, the roads and technologies to deliver. Our world is facing challenges of unprecedented scale, and it will only take strong national governments and coalitions of like-minded leaders to work together to address them. Thank you, Madam President. Your unwavering belief and commitment to the importance of young people and leadership and civil service has created a pathway now across the continent that will realize its full potential. To our partners, this vibrant, amazing coalition that has created the Public Service Emerging Leaders Fellowship in Kenya, congratulations. You have set an even higher standard of partnership. I want to take a moment to recognize the guests who helped us get here. Honorable Nana Ajima Juma, apologies, I've tried. <laughs> he has been our great leader and father of this program in Ghana. To the Chandler Institute of Government, you have taken our curriculum and together with the government of Kenya, strengthened it for here. To the Hewlett Foundation, represented by David Sasaski, and our other bold donors who have invested in this seed, we thank you. To my board of Emerging Public Leaders Global and to the boards of the other organizations here. Lastly, to you the fellows, you have already chosen to serve. You are daring to lead and to transform this country, this continent, this world. My hope is that you start a wave of talent that is as committed to the service of your nation as you are and the world we all live in. Don't forget that relationships matter. Your civic engagement will provide the continuity of leadership and resilience, be it political, economic, that the world will face. I have never been more inspired to be involved in the cause of making sure that government is up to the challenge. Please join me in congratulating our new fellows as they embark on their fellowship in this journey. And thank you again. Congratulations. Thank you.